A glorious look. Let it sink in. For Barcelona, it will be the final appearance of the legendary San Mames. While they are licking their wounds from a defeat in Munich, these guys will have new digs the next time these two teams face. Athletic welcoming Barcelona to this legendary temple. Phil Shane, Ray Hudson with you. And Ray, all eyes may be on Europe with the championship of La Liga, a foregone conclusion, and could become a reality today. But for Athletic Bilbao, a few slips over their last three and relegation still on the outside but even that takes a backseat today to the 100th meeting between these two sides at San Mames. Well for all the history observers it's all very interesting but for Athletic Bilbao and Marcelo Bielsa they're really not that concerned about what happened in the past. I wanna have to be focused on what's going to happen in the next few weeks because they're in a really tough situation. They have not been playing well. Only won three out of the last ten matches in La Liga. And they've lost five of the last six meetings with Barcelona. And they are facing a wounded, hurt Barcelona. They've got their guts well and truly kicked against a magnificent Bayern Munich and they will have to respond today with a team that by all accounts Phil is a pretty strong looking lineup for Tito Villanova he is not taking anything to chance we'll are here on the bench but Cesc Fabregas evidently will get the start along with Xavi Hernandez and Jordi Alba Danny Alves, Abidal and PK. So is this a backline rehearsal for what awaits them on Wednesday back in Barcelona? Wonderful fans here, most passionate of all, of course, in world football, or right up there with the best in this stadium, as you said, that's seen some wonderfully games etched in history and it been magnificent. Manchester United remembers this place with bad memories, but what memories will these leave? Good look at these traditional red and white stripes. The Blaugrana on the other side. The San Mames Open back 1913. And a couple of renovations, but they just could not live in this modern world. 40,000 seats, only 112 yards long. They'll be moving across the street to their brand new digs. We'll talk about that a bit later. Toquero, Llorente, continuing his stint in purgatory as Adoris back healthy and back in the starting lineup. Take a look at that back line in front of Iraithos and a lot of experience. After Neche, the youngster, back out there again today. Ignacio Iglesias, the referee. Alfonso Castoya, Victor Fernandez, and Oscar Marin rounding out the officiating crew. 10, 6, and 16 for Athletics. 7, 2, and 7 at home. Barcelona have just lost two all season, both of those on the road. Real Madrid and Athletics arch rivals Sociedad. So could Barcelona go O oh, for the Basque? We'll have to wait and find out. But, Ray, as you said, this is a Barcelona squad, very representative, very talented. But will they have enough to get the victory here today and perhaps put title number 22 on the shelf? At midfield, the captains and the officials. About a 300-mile trek from the northeast corner where Barcelona resides up to the coast on the north coast where Athletic Bilbao calls themselves home. Now you can see this team really wound up for this game. They're looking for Alexis Sanchez blood and the blood of Blaugrana. A massive challenge ahead of Athletic Club but they will not be looking to be kind 
to Tito Villanova and wounded Barcelona. Certainly, Bielsa will have inspired them, motivated them. They want to turn a disappointing week for Jordi's men into an absolute, well, a disastrous week. We will see if Tito and Jordi have got the answers here today. They better be ready because this is a dangerous opponent that can play slick football. They've got some wonderful footballers themselves, athletic club. Di Marcos, especially the number 10, look out for him. Underway on this glorious green pitch. Athletic, eight-time champions, 23 times they've list, lifted the cup against Barcelona on the verge of their 22nd title and 26-time cup winners. Not the last time these two teams will face, but it is the last time they will play here. The new stadium opening up across the street. Might get a chance to take a peek before this day is over. The Very play. comfortable in this stadium, that's for sure. Most of these players born and raised within a stone's throw of the area around this place. So virtually every one of them homegrown and represent their own people so beautifully well over all the generations of course that's the club that bilbao is athletic club de bilbao talk about the cantera of barcelona so much with Amasia. well athletic has their own nine of the starting 11 today coming through that athletic youth system yeah i'm envious a lot of clubs around the world will be but not just that they produce their own footballers and stay with them, Phil. It's that they've got such wonderful talent in their feet. These aren't just any sort of local talent that they're forced into areas. They are there by absolute full respect to their ability. Wonderful footballers in the red and white stripes. They've been a little bit off colour. It's been a disastrous season compared to the year last season under Bielsa where they shocked Europe and got the attention of all of the world with some astonishing performances but this year now very inconsistent taking the restart it's Xavi launching it towards the six headed up and away to safety and where there's an axiom in business schools talking about sometimes the worst thing that can happen to a business is success and that might have been the case with Athletic. A shot delivered in, deflects away, and Athletic tries to get rid of it. It is a slim squad, a talented one, but a slim squad because they limit themselves to the Basque region, the Basque country. And not only did they have the league and the cup, but Europa this year making it into the group stage, although not making it out. And some turmoil as well. Certain players, Amorabieta, Llorente, perhaps most notably on the way out, and the club management, including Marcelo Bielsa, not too happy about that. So a little infighting that they've had to try and overcome. Three straight without a victory. Last win coming way back on April 1st against Granada after they had won three of four. Good football if it holds, which it will not. Marcos always to willing around. to look in there behind the back lane energy to burn look at this nearly gets to it good cover along the side but his teammates put it together nicely there and got behind that back lane of Barcelona would be orchestrated by Gerard Piquet his teammate Iniesta coming out this week and saying that it's been very unfair the criticism he says people forget all too quickly this isn't the end of our era he says we've still got plenty of hunger appetite and desire and talent Iniesta saying we won three Champions League reached more semi-finals on the point of taking the fourth league title Super Cups and he feels as if they should be entirely proud and given full respect to Bayern Munich for the whipping that they put on. Kept in play, deflected away off of Song. It's going to be a corner. And that kind of gives you an idea how the world has spun off its axis when you win 
the league with five rounds to spare arguably and it's considered a disappointing season. Yeah it's Barcelona. Good hustle by Athletic. You talk about the skill but in many ways it's the heart that goes along with it that's made them so hard to beat in towards the six cleared away before it reaches PK by song. Sanchez back to defend and spins away from the pressure. Barcelona's made themselves at home here as well. Have not lost in the San Mames since May of 06. Good control. Thiago playing on that right side. Xavi floating around. Back in the corner for Piquet. De Marcos proving to be stiff competition. Good tuck inside. Played square oh. and just in front of the slashing boot. Adoriz coming close for the opening goal. And this is a train at the back post, but it starts with the man I was telling you about, De Marcos. Wonderful link of football that we were warning you about at the start of this game. Tic tac toe. Unayin involved. Lovely ball from Ander Herrera trying to find Aruritz, who cannot extend his telescopic legs, but beautiful ball played across from Ander. But again, well, this De Marcos kid, number 10, wonderful player, but all young, vibrant footballers with the softest feet and the wonderful vision as the rain starts to come down, and we will see the slick surface get a little bit faster now. Mistakes waiting to be made, perhaps. Thiago. Wonder if his dad taught him that one and then pushed down. Raining much of the morning, although it did seem to dissipate a bit. And the temperature, Ray, well, some parts of the world, people thinking of summer already. It's 43 degrees and rain, so not exactly the most pleasant surroundings for Barcelona. The weather perhaps mirroring their mood. Ball played back by Borja Iquisa to Gorka. To his left foot and chips it away. Right, the one point again. We talk about how these two teams develop their own. Aburis, one of them way back in his athletic youth days. Coming back from Valencia in the offseason. But you have to continue to keep that pipeline going. Munayin just 20. DeMarco's just 24. Ander Herrera plucked away for $10 million from Saragossa, just 23. And he's Bilbao born. And then they have the young Frenchman from the other side of the Basque country. Americ Laporte, just a teenager. So they will be back. They just like to avoid the drop because they are one of those historic sides who have never been relegated. Well, apart from this game here today, which they don't really look at as a total relegation must-win game, if they get anything out of these games against Royal Way to Real Madrid and Barcelona, they'll big credit to their account, but uh, just sitting above that relegation zone, Phil, and they should have enough in their locker to avoid that mentioned three wins out of four all four of those games won nothing so Bielsa had tightened the defense but since then three straight without a victory yeah well, the games that I've watched this athletic club play they've been a little bit unfortunate a little unlucky in front of goal chipped away by Abidal but he into the center of the park up football beautiful fighting his way through Herrera again spots the run Little back heel kicked in. Is it onside? Flag stays down. Barcelona scrambling. And Athletic smartly wins it back. Well, draws the applause. It's not even close anywhere to being offside. Beautiful tic tac football. And these players loving this surface. And I'm talking about the boys in red and white giving Eric Abidal some real serious moments of concern. Good Underneath ball Iola. again. Nicely. Checking back to get on. Nope, the flag does come up this time. And they play their passes first time, virtually every time. And when they don't, it's just to hold it up right here. That split second unlucky again from DeMarcos. 
That must be the fifth, sixth time that he's got behind this Barcelona back lane already. Again, Barcelona just two defeats this season, both of them away from home. Real Madrid perhaps the more noted, but it was Athletics Basque rivals Real Sociedad still in that Champions League hunt that drew the first blood this year. Lovely football again out of the back. Good possession. Unlucky. Tiago trying to pounce finds Xavi. Plays like that where they miss a healthy Lionel Messi. Who's going to step up today? Good ball. Laid off for Xavi. Pedro tackled away. Good play by Song. Nicely. Alves outside of the boot. Fabregas couldn't keep it under control. Oh, took ten minutes for Fabregas' men to put a sequence of Barcelona type spirograph football together. First ten minutes, these young men in red and white have settled down, loving the conditions, out possessing Barcelona, and a lot more threatening on the break. They're in again. Knocked down, and it's going to be a foul. Alex Song throwing his body in front of the track. Under Herrera winning the free kick. Two players tried to bring him down, and then Song just jumped in front. Saw so Adelitz pointing to the spot where he wants it. I don't think that was it. Off Sesk, and they'll have to regroup. Back to Gorka. The very first time these two teams met at the San Mames, way back in January of 1915. Ended in a draw. Today, the 100th meeting. Good play. And the final at this Good San Mames. Good first time play from Barcelona. Nicely again. Alexis intercepted. Akisa again. Actually, that might have been Mikel San Jose reaching over. Xavi back to Song. Sesk for Tiago. On the turn, Sanchez back for Fabregas. And a chance now for Athletic on the break, but PK is going to get there first. Antonetti still just 21. Another part of that foundation for the future. In fact, Iraola, Gurpegi, Adritz, and the keeper, Iraithos, just the only players above 30 that are out there today for Athletic. PK checking the rearview mirror. And back to Valdez. Wonder where he'll be playing next year. Good work, Abidal. Alba. And the whistle. Maybe just a little too much flailing from Adoritz. And Lionel Messi bundled up. Surprised they don't have him wrapped in styrofoam just in case. No, he's tougher than that. He showed that going out against Bayern, but a shadow of what we're used to seeing. Going to need to see the bright light this, this week. Fabregas harassed, holds on. Magic. Thiago. Alves wide, oh. takes the cross, trying to elude the pressure of Unayin. Well and tripped up just outside the area by Iker. Uh, finally, the whistle goes. I think the referee's assistant allowed an infraction against Dani Alves once or twice by Young Iker, but he's a battler. Two Terriers going at that ball. Take a look. A lovely cutback, and then Iker's slidey motion gets Dani. A couple of times he reaches in and then reaches across, but typifies this athletic club spirit and the embodiment of their 100% commitment. Ika Munayim. 
Shabby with two men in a wall towards the spot. Players knocked down, and you could see Alex Song going in hard on Gurpegi, who goes in just as hot to the referee. Tiago, the player. I'm not sure what Gurpegi could be complaining about. Throw in for Barcelona. Talk about athletic right now. 36 points. That's eight points above the drop. But Ray, if they get the victory, they could be just seven points out of Europe. Barcelona, meanwhile, like to get this one in the book and then sit back and watch, maybe listen on the plane ride back. Real Madrid against Atletico to come on be in sport. And if Atletico can win that derby at home, if Barcelona wins here today, Barcelona reclaims the crown. PK. Be in sport.tv. That's where you can find all of the particulars and the schedule to boot. Feel free to get involved in Twitter. And then could be a championship crowned with five games to spare by the end of the day. Uh, we've withstood those first ten minutes of real good football from Athletic Club. And Barcelona now starting to get it in gear. Lovely movement. And it's just feeding on the confidence he's in. Chance for Alexis. Oh! Woodwork and bounces clear. Would have been a spectacular goal. As high and mighty as Barcelona's football has been in previous seasons, that one would have been one of the best. Unlucky. But they had a poke free by Song. The referee's assistant raises the flag. Well, fabulous so passing football up. coming through this. And here we're ripping them apart. Athletic Cub just looking in the are hypnotized. Great ball to Alexis. And he gets it two centimeters wrong. Wonderful slingshot. Beach Gorka upside down, but the lead up was really top class. Beautiful build up from Barcelona. Gorka couldn't guess one way or the other because Pedro almost took the pass in the other direction. Rain picking up in intensity a bit. Say at the back post header, but straight to Valdez. Is it good, Peggy, that gets on this wonderful slashing run? Here's San Jose. Yeah, they both could have had a piece of that. San Jose, looks like he got his bushy eyebrows on it and just uh, another six inches away from Victor Valdez, Phil, and that might have been flashing past him. The ball usually picks up this pace off of this type of surface that just continues to get more and more sodden but wonderful positioning by Valdez again and he's clean with his collection now I don't know what the new stadium's going to be like but I don't like it already this is a wonderful proper football ground but as you said Phil in the modern day these old places are getting torn down more and more Big atmosphere goes away from the place. We'll see. Alexis. Sure, it'll be filled with the same passionate fans that will scream their lungs out for their beloved athletic club. But as I said at the preview, this old place has seen some fabulous, fabulous battles. Well, Ray, it is the Basque country, so it will have some uh, interesting architecture. It looks beautiful in pictures. I mean, all you have to do is ask Arsenal. The Emirates might be beautiful, might be larger, but kind of lose that intensity from Highbury. And I'm sure Athletic is going to try and make sure that doesn't happen. But in the modern day, 14, 15,000 extra seats and all the amenities that go with it. Sure. I wonder if they're taking the pitch with them. Is it <laughs> immaculate? Wouldn't be surprised if they take part of it. Susayeta getting tangled with Alba and whistled for the foul. Wonderful run. So unlucky. 
The new stadium is going to be built right next door, a little closer to the River Nervion, which cuts through Bilbao. And Ray, the street that separates them, named after the man who scored the very first goal at this stadium, the legendary Rafael Moreno, the original Pichichi. Chance for Sesk. Tiago and Xavi. Beautiful run, and Xavi spots him. Tiago driving in, poked away by Ander Herrera, only as far as Xavi. Alves and Tiago. Strong challenge, and now a chance on the turn. Marcos and Susayeta back to Andoni Iraola. Throw in near midfield. Last meeting at the Camp No. 5 1 Barcelona. Messi had two. Last year, though, Atletico able to come away with a two all draw at home. And Ray, they probably should have had the victory. After Llorente scored with 10 minutes left, but Messi scored in the final minute, preserving a point for Barcelona. DK challenging at midfield. Andres getting up a bit slow. A good ball from Abidal. Alexis played that back line well. Beat him easily. Cuts to the box. Has to drop for Xavi. Now Tiago got away from Pedro. That's a good example of a Barcelona team just not as sharp as what they have been. That ball usually is touched on first time with absolute accuracy, without one extra touch, just that slight hesitation and torn about split seconds here and allows Athletic Club to close in on them. And not so long ago it would be all instamatic, automatic for Barca's passes to find each other, but we've been talking about it for a while. The volume in this edition just turned down and that was well ahead of the disaster against Bayern Munich. We saw indications of it in Glasgow and Paris, of course, Milan. So, how much of a shock against Bayern Munich it was can be debated, but the fact that it was so emphatic and Barcelona were so thoroughly outplayed, fair and square, Phil, I think is the one thing that was more shocking even than the result. I think, well, there are some Barcelona fans, even some neutrals, who might point to two of the goals that the referee could have called off. A lot of people also pointing out that there could have been a penalty called against PK, so chance for Xavi. Now Song. Good stop, Gorka. Wonderful I think set result in was just the margin. Xavi there, but he need, needs to step through this one with a lot more confidence. Beautifully played back from Pedro to Xavi, who sets the table for Song in a great position to rifle through it with a little bit more venom. But he doesn't. Into the corner. Good grab by Valdez. And again, Ray, it was more, I think, just the margin that showed the dominance that Bayern had. Although I think Barcelona fans would probably feel a lot more confident if it had been a 2 0 score line. They might be able to turn it around in the second leg. Well, they're not giving up, and they will not give up on Wednesday night. Nor will the 100,000 people roaring making their lungs bleed with support. Magic things and wild things can happen in 90 minutes of football, Phil, and that's where the modern miracles take place a lot of times. He knows it, and he will have his team still believing that they can get one, but it is an almighty mountain that they have got to face on Wednesday. Ray, some rumors even that the man who was on the winning bench might be taking over for Tito next year. Whether that's just rumors, you know, Pankis obviously proving that he has a lot left to give, yeah. even if Pep Guardiola is going to be taking over at Bayern. That ain't going to happen. 
Tito's their man next season. What a bet your milkshake on that one. Chance now for Athletic. And Reyes to any lasting power from last week in the Champions League. At least there was a very temporary seismic shift that changed the European landscape. Next day, Dortmund against Real Madrid, so maybe the epicenter moving a bit closer towards Germany. We'll have to wait. They still have to close those deals. And I think only a fool would believe that Barcelona and Real Madrid would not be back. Absolutely. Bayern Munich's been a, a good team for a long, long time. Not just with the history books, but in the last three years, they've been top class. Well, there's. All the way back to Iraithos. Now with his right foot, drives it across midfield. Abidal, but straight to the center circle where Herrera was. Quick movement. Munayin wants it. In on Pedro. Susayeta coming across, didn't sense the pressure. Abregas. Alba. Back into the middle. Cleared. Beautiful change of pace from Tiago. Nice ball. Creates space for Xavi. Takes the shot, caressing it to the corner, but on the wrong side of the pipe. Lovely football. Again, Pedro arriving late. Just out of picture here. Pedro lurking free as a bird in the park, but the X-Man says, I can put this one away. And just kind of quite bend his shot enough. And again, lovely, silky football built up beautifully. Thiago right at the heart of it. Chance to drive in on Piquet. Madrid's to his left. Leaves him on the wake. Back post tapped home. Marco Susayeta, athletic in front. The tears pouring down from their faces as the goal goes on the board. What a play from Adoritz. Well, this starts way, way deep. And I'm sure the replay will just show when Adoritz picks it up. But go back and take a look at the genesis of this game. And it is celebratory with a cigar for Susayeta, who's the thunder at the end of this lightning attack. Wonderful play, he's onside, hammer blow across, but he locks his focus. Adoritz driving Piquet, Piquet slips a little bit, but then this fearsome ball that is whipped across with wicked intent for his Batman. Beautiful, stabs it over, put this one away. And Athletic Club grab the lead through Susayeta. Adoritz just missing out on a similar tap in on the receiving end in the opening moments. Setting up Susayeta and now Barcelona could be in trouble. Ray, all the focus in on that Bayern Munich result, but the last three league results, they'd outscored the opposition nine to nothing. So that scoreless streak has now come to a close. It was a typical athletic club goal, Phil. We saw it in the first 10 minutes. They had their match their boots well and truly laced up tight and snug. He sets a wonderful table for Markel Susayeta. But again, there was three or four passes way, way before Adurit gets possession. That was reminiscent of their football last season where it was true lightning football with incredible pinpoint accuracy with their passes and the movement was just not able to be contained play it again up steps Tiago flips it over to song the Cameroonian 
wide for Alves. He eludes Munayin. Tiago keeps it alive. Now it's Sesk from Song. Alba. Squares into the box, touched forward, Shabby, but the run was not coming. Well, the run was there. Just a poor ball from Xavi in the end. Alves down behind the play on the other side of the field. And the fans giving him a serenade. And some concerns in the technical area of Barcelona right now. Looks as if it may just be a little bit of the Atrix, but he certainly went down. And it's how to reach seeing his apology for this reach in. He gets him nasty, whether it's intentional or not. But he goes right off at of the top and stamps on Danny's shin, just to the side of his shin, and certainly catches him with his cleats. Adriano warming up just in case on the sideline. He'll be fine. Just a raking thing that you'll. Takes a minute or two to get over it, but Annie Alves, yeah, that's been playing tremendously well for Barcelona of late as well. Always super involved, he'll not want to come off. Ball played back sportingly as the whistles continue to rain down, just like that Mother Nature variety. Stadium built. Back in 1913, opened its doors finally in August, and five minutes later, Pichichi Moreno scored the very first goal. How many goals did Telmo Sada score here? Still the all-time leading scorer, Lionel Messi playing catch-up. Song tripped up in the center circle. And ready to talk about the traditions, this English-style stadium, it's still in my mind, one of the most emotional moments in soccer when a team first comes to play at the San Mames. And at this point, there won't be any new ones in this old stadium, bringing the bouquet of flowers up into the stands to the bust of Tel Mosada. Well, big fan of being sport, and somebody I'm a bit familiar with, a friend, Samantha Merrick, out in that crowd somewhere today. Big Barcelona fan. She went over to watch the Vante and she wanted to go to this <laughs> stadium and she's there cheering on Barcelona, but she also will be commiserating herself. As will all the Barcelona fans, a very, very tricky time, Phil, that they're going through right now. And again, you look at this score line, nothing accidental or capricious about it. This athletic club started out this game very well and then Barcelona's come back into it certainly and putting their game together but no way through trying to settle was Pedro his touch has been a bit off today BK back to song threads it for Sesk Alba on the run but the pass split the difference Alexis trying to get it back with the trip you talk about this stadium and great Spanish football and the stadiums around and of course Barcelona and Real Madrid there's big iconic clubs of course with the history and all of the silverware but this athletic club de Bilbao Phil isn't a team in all of Spain arguably in all of Europe a town a city excuse me that supports their football club the way this area does there's something intensely special about this footballing team and its wonderful institution. It's something that everybody I've talked to that has been to Bilbao comes back with the same stories that they had no idea of the pure love from everybody towards this club. Navidal for Xavi, back to Thiago. It's a good run. Spots the run, but the ball just curves away. A hard ball to find him over this distance on this surface. It literally has got to be played into the feet on the run. And again, he's got defenders over distance to beat and thread that ball through a tiny passing lane. Ball skips away off the surface. But Barcelona have been putting it together two feet. 
there's been good movement so certainly no let up in the way Barcelona will play that's a hand ball it looks like Cesc getting a yellow for his efforts yeah. Ignacio Iglesias stepping over it seemed purely intentional when the ball popped up let's take a look Trying to catch it with his shoulder, but never had the chance. Hey, you can see what he was trying to do. It's not a handball, Thierry Henry stale. Well, glances into the air. Abidal and Abiritz could not spot it. Oh, beautiful pass. And you see he changed. His mind midway through the stride still got it to Xavi perfectly. Hernandez senses the pressure and spins away. Three straight wins for Barcelona. One goal away from cracking that 100 goal mark again. Top scoring team away from home as well. Alba. Retreats. With Abidal starting today, you wonder whether that means Bartra again against Bayern. Abidal, even though he hasn't played much, has been spectacular since coming back amazingly so considering the layoff nine minutes left in this first half <laughs> it is that passion from everybody in this never into a place Dani Alves taking in all good humor. Good turn. Nothing on supporting run. Pedro and Alexis looking pretty sharp out there. One of those. Alves sneaks it in. Clear. Sass trying to pet lay it off, but seemed to be pulled down. No complaints. Nain. No cleared. Gets through two, wants it back, draws Piquet out. Could open a door inside for DeMarcos if he can find him. Well, you watch this athletic Bilbao squad. Still missing a few key players here, but the way they're playing, it's hard to believe this is a 14th place team. Well, they've raised the ante against Barcelona, knowing Barcelona's frame of well the recent pass let's just say it and they have pounced and take full advantage of it and it's not as if Barcelona are playing too bad in possession either but this red and white stripe team rabid in their pressure and again same old problem for Barca of late just not enough penetration within the box but they have been knitting it together and Pedro and Alexis for me looking very dangerous with their elusive runs towards the box, but poor boy. PK wondering what he did. Uh, just coming together. Play on. And back to it, I thought. Nothing intentional. I think it's we got a reach. It goes down coming in against PK. Two big men. Contact sport. Sayetha forgot something. Alba to Tiago to Xavi. Nicely. And the Herrera reaching out to grab Hernandez as he went past. Yeah, and Xavi had spotted Pedro just peeling away from his defenders and was just about to pick him up. There's that. 
instance where we thought it may be a pull down. Hands are certainly on Sask, but referee seeing that there's not really any intention of pulling him down. A sharp play by Xavi. Well defended in the back. San Jose now. And Iola and Susayet to clear it upfield. Into space perfectly. Alexis threads it for Pedro. Unlucky. Unain back on defense. Gives it away. Fabregas. And Alexis tried to bring it to his right. Still one back by Song. Tiago wide for Alba. Punched away by Gorka. Fighting through the challenge to do so. Song tried to stop it. And then a beautiful switch for Munayin. Trying to add a second before the break. Good defense, Alba. Make that Alves. Well, beautiful football at the other end by Barcelona. Again, finding each other. I wrote again wonderful defending San Jose Azica come across with a slide tackle just to hurry up the last effort by Pedro maybe oh. one last chance now the reads to his right drives it in bangs it off of song Tiago 27 3 and 2 impressive for Barca. I'd like a little bit of good news though following a tough week. Xavi spots the run but can't get it there. Akisa again. Herrera. Back to Borja. Susayeta on the near side. Gets it back nicely. Kept it in play, but couldn't maintain possession. Alexis, Fabregas, Tiago. Song's pass cut off by Herrera. Munayin sprinting. Alves slows him down. Herrera One. bumped off by Tiago. No, he never touched him. Alexis fighting for it. And then taken down, but I think the whistle might have already blown. Offside flag was up. Beautiful play by Tiago Alcantara to pick the pocket right in the midfield and send Alexis on his way, but beautifully orchestrated at the end. Lovely lift up from Athletic Club. The flag had went up for that offside, as you said, Phil. But again, wonderful from Thiago. It's going to slow. Susayeta! Open header for the second, but Adriz could not keep it down. Dimarcos again. Turns this Barcelona defense around with this indefatigable run. Into space, he picks his target out absolutely beautifully and perfectly. It's right on the head of a pin, and that has got to be buried. What a sitter, and there's got to be something wrong with his hammer if he can of hit that nail, Phil. What a ball from DeMarcos on the run to pick out Aritz Aruritz. Flipped into the middle. Hangs in the air. Akisa tries to clear. Thiago comes down with it. Off to Alexis. 45th minute. The ball.
Oh, that's a lovely return from Eric Abidal. Song to oh. Xavi. Alexis trying to cut around the defense, but can't. Nice, but the pass goes awry. Borja Kisa has his work cut out. Alexis oh, has he, been electrical. He's doing well. He may have his work cut out, but he is living up to the challenge. Wonderful defensive play there again from Ezeke. Soft little chip. Dragging it back for Susayeta, but That's Song it. just hooks it away. Xavi drops it in for Sesk. Alexis in the middle. Sesk to the goal line. And across the face, but no one there to make them smile. Fabregas does brilliantly well here. Rounds the corner. Beautiful ball to find him from Thiago Alcantara. Lovely little touch, and this is brilliant. A settle. He's expecting Alexis Sanchez to keep on running here, but he's never, ever going to be able to get that. There's no way through to his teammate. He's got to just play that ball a little bit more softly, but in order to get his pass off, he had to hurry it. But what a ball from him to set him free. Last home match for Athletic. 3-0 defeat against Real Madrid. They will head to the half with a bit more hope in their heart. High into the air from Piquet. Iglesias puts the first half in the book. And it's with Athletic smiling. Alariz to Susayeta for the only goal of the half. Well, a fair, fair goal on a really miserable night that has inspired the great fans here and are rousing. Not just Susayeta, the hero, but Aduritz, who could have, should have made it 2 0. Barcelona hammering away at the door, but they cannot unlock this defensive cord of Athletic Club. One change for Barcelona as we get set for the start of the second half. Eric Abidal coming out. That might be more preservation or maybe even with an eye towards midweek. Eric Abidal leaves. Adriano Correa checking in. Adriano, again, you remember his days at Sevilla. Started as a wing. Could play left or right. Converted to a wing back, but has deputized in the back with so many injuries Machidano and Puyol still out second half underway seven 27th minute goal from Susayeta the difference between these two with the change Valdez now fronted by Alves Piquet Adriano and Alba collision in midfield song backing up Tiago and Xavi Sesk the same with Pedro and Alexis in this Hybrid 4-3-3 for Barca for Athletic Bilbao. It's Iraithos in goal, Iraiola, Akisa, San Jose, and Artaneche, the back line. Gurpegi and Herrera with DeMarcos flanked by Susayeta and Munayin and Aritz Aduritz, who's been very impressive and influential in the opening half. Tiago pressured and off target. Artaneche wins it. But Peggy appears to be a bit bruised. Although it was Herrera who got hit at the end. But Peggy still. This looks a bit painful. Slapping it forward, Munayin. Shielding away Alves. Trying to bump it out of play. And eventually does. Again, the 100th and final appearance for Barcelona at the San Mames. Have not lost here since 06. Borja Kisa, 25-year-old homegrown product, back to Gorka. 
and was a youth player himself before moving to Espanol. Bounces forward. Barca comes away with it. Pressure from Iraola and the foul. Don't forget Real Madrid visiting Atletico. Big week for the Atleti, 110th birthday. Well, they celebrate it with a victory. If Barca can come back here and Atletico does win at home, Barcelona would be the champions, but right talking about it during the break. It's not as though if Barcelona loses here and Real wins there that the title will immediately fall to their hands. They'll be facing a tough Bethy squad, but at the Camp no. Then they have to go to the Calderon themselves to face Atletico. Then what should be a winnable match against Valladolid before closing at arch rivals Espanyol and at home against Malaga. So not exactly an easy run in, which is why Tito Villanova trying to put paid to the thoughts from some of his players. They'd like to win at home this time. But he says, let's just get the title as quickly and easily as possible. And Lionel Messi, by the way, on the sideline, loosening up. Would you be surprised if he comes in here today? Not at all. Told he was tough. He's ready. And the surface will suit him, literally down to the ground. But says everything when you need to go to that well Phil with bravura confidence that used to spill out of Barcelona and come back and put, put these games out of the air with emphatic piercing footballing goals just not quite there we're gonna need Leo as the inspiration by the looks of it Akisa caresses it back. Ray, it, it was... works on two ways as well. He gets in, and if he does hit that incredible magical electric switch of his, it'll buy the confidence of himself and the club, of course, heading into that Mission Impossible game against Bayern Munich. So it's a risk because obviously injuries a little fresh, but. I don't think they would risk him if they didn't feel as if he was going to be 100% okay and solid and strong, Phil. Song all the way back to Valdez. As you were saying, there's just too many games left still for Barcelona to win this league comfortably and wrestle it away from Real Madrid. But, hey, it's turning into a strange sort of season. Trying to hustle to keep it in. Iriola. Now he'll turn it back upfield. They do have Llorente on the bench if they wish, but he's been persona non grata. Wanted to follow Javi Martinez out of town after a historic season. Didn't what a work ball! Out that way, offside flag will stymie the charge. Oh, it's a wonderful attempt again. It's Demarcos in behind the back line yet again. Just a yard offside, no question about it in the replay, but I think Piquet just lost his footing as well and allowed Demarcus to slip by off of his leash. Final season at the San Mames. Athletic did lose the opener this year at home, but then just one loss over their next seven. However, five losses over their last eight at home. So maybe a chance to push some of those evil ghosts out before they shut the doors for good. Adriano, a bit more likely to push forward than the man he replaced Abidal, but that pass off target. With Peggy trying to find Munayin. Alves could not hold on. Altaneche. Debuted as a teenager, now 21. You think Bielsa sticks around? Yeah, I think he will. It was a wonderful year that he put together. Breathtaking year last season. And this year, 
He's had a lot of problems, a lot of distractions as well with the Urente deal to Juve, and he's still being able to hold his ship together. I think they'll keep faith with him, Phil, and if they don't, there'll be plenty that will take him. Xavi slamming it into the middle, Sesk trying to control. The ball. Getting it back, Pedro. Magic. Wide for Alexis. Ooh. Arm came out on the push, and a bit fortunate there was no whistle. Normally, when that arm gets extended, you're just inviting a foul. Well, how much effort was there, though, Phil? It may be a little bit of optical illusion there. There was no complaining from Alexis. He might have went down a little easily once he felt that arm extended on him. But well, that was a push, and certainly a hint of it there. The referee right in good place, not doing anything. Adriano for Alves. Former Sevilla mates. That one bounces clear. Take, look, Take another look. Lovely ball through from Xavi. Man, that is a lot more beef behind it than I thought it might be. Take a look. Nah, that's not. Try the first time. It was a cross, but it, the action of it looks a lot worse. It would have been a, a little bit of a soft penalty, I think. We've seen them call yeah, though. Absolutely. No, no question. Ball far side Alba. Well handled Andriano with his right foot to Song. Blind pass back. Athletic trying to keep it alive. Strong challenge by PK. No argument from out of the nervous defending from Alex Song though. Collected away, but straight from Tiago for Xavi. Trying to return the favor, but Alexis making something of it. Sesk to the middle. Blasted by Borja. It's been held back here by Adriano. Into the area. Adriano with the foul, but it looks like it's going to be just outside the area. He will get a yellow, but it won't be a penalty. Susayeta found that little alley. And Ray, that is one of the risks when you put Adriano out of position in place of Abidal. We know what he could do on the other end. With Munayin, De Marcos, Herrera, even Aduritz from this close. Bilbao has plenty of weapons themselves. Now, this is in Aduritz area. This is going to take a little bit more finesse than what Aduritz would pull out of his hat, but. There's certainly players. Altenece with the left, if that's the way they go. Blasted to the corner, but it pings off the 90. Headed down, and Valdez slaps it wide, but it looks like they're going to say... Beautiful it by John Altenece there, and his team is beaten in the wall. Susayeta, excuse me, goes upstairs with a beautiful curvaceous hit and paints the top of the crossbar. Takes a little bit of a deflection off of the wall. San Jose's follow-up header goes wide. Almost a second for Athletic. Ball. Xavi. Nicely. Keeps his balance. Oh. Sesk in one direction. Pedro in the other. See what happens this time. Back to Tiago. Just waving the red flag, a little heel flick from Sesk, trying to set up Pedro, but no. Munayin starting a break the other way. Adritz, not exactly where he wanted to kick it out. Tenece reaching out, bodies flying left and right. Pedro poked away by Artaneche. Now it's Alves, cleared by San Jose, off the Brazilian and out. Just 23. Eagles San Jose. 
Liverpool bought him back when he was still a teenager. Say, yeah, that, again, takes a little bit of a deflection. I thought very, very slight. Either way, Valdez seeing his defenders were fouled. Stepping up, Unain. Adriano to midfield. Well, the man who saved a point last year. Looks like he will be coming in. Lionel Messi, a 90th minute work of heroics for a 2 2 draw. Will it be Sesk that comes out? Right. You might say it's the right decision, but you know it's one that's going to be second guessed if something bad happens. Yeah, but they're brave. You say you don't look at. A situation when you're a Barcelona coach about what the worst thing could happen. You look at the positive side, and he's looking at probably replacing. I think one of the players that will be starting all likelihood against Barcelona may be Xavi. Normally, it's been Iniesta and Xavi that interplay in these types of games, but you're right. It's going to be Messi coming in. Well, put a lot of good work in. Wonderfully received coming off. You remember his World Cup awards, of course, and great response for Lionel Messi as well. Question is, does Lionel Messi have a second gear? The other point, Ray, oh, the first the touch is Tiago. The answer right there. The pass behind wins it back. Alexis. Messi shot deflected and Gorka breathing a sigh oh, of relief. His first touch was beautiful and starts the dominoes falling instantly and unhesitant with his shot with his trusted left foot. Well, that's a great sign. Right off of the bench and not hesitating for a split second with his effort. There are two other reasons. You almost wonder whether Messi, I don't want to say begged, but asked to get into this match. I mean, he's grown up in... Barcelona more than half of his life so he knows what San Mames means maybe a chance to step onto the turf one final time plus also Marcelo Bielsa a legend at Newell's which is where Messi grew up so would not be surprised if Messi asked for the chance beautiful and he's showing he's still got it brilliant turn Messi Lovely. Pedro Gorka reaches back to slap it clear uh, there's all the answers in one wonderful movement, the moment he stepped onto the pitch, again, the table starts to slant away. But still got plenty to do. The signs are there. Messi looks back to his a sharp fitness. Thiago looked like he was appealing for a foul, but clean, said the referee. Well, he could not keep it in. Take another look. Here's the acceleration. The quickness and elusiveness, vision, lovely lead ball, goes upstairs. Tries to slant that one away from Boca Irizos. Not was... able to get Poulin. What a response here from Barcelona. Well played. Another chance for Messi. Did not have a second gear, let alone or a third or a fourth against Bayern, but he's shown it already here. Half hour remaining. Barca come back, maybe even salvage a victory. Song. Magic again. Messi Beautiful. spins away. Sesk goes wide. Song at the top of the box. Near post run Pedro into the middle for Alexis. Nathan Eche lowers his head to clear. Brilliant displays from Athletic today, but now I think it's, it's poor again by on. Alex Song. Good control, but his touch again. And he needs to settle it and evade his defender. Not there. It is with this guy. Lovely pass. Wide for Pedro. Magic. Pedro ah. around out the Neche, but the second touch fails. Ray getting back to Song. No Busquets to rescue him on the bench. Well, 
That's a heartwarming sight for Barcelona fans. That instant pressing of the button by Lionel. Maybe a fearful sight for Bayern fans. And the armband goes on. Vargasta Alba to Adriano. Now from an athletic perspective, Adriano and Song are out there. Maybe a chance to pounce, but now that Messi's shown what he can yeah, do. Again, lovely give and go. Alves. Magic. Holds oh. on. Alves squares. Tucked oh. in by Alexis, but straight to Gorka. Fabulous play from the Brazilian. Dani Alves carving Athletic Club apart from the halfway line. Sees his target inside and then cuts back beautifully and then delivers a diamond ball. Messi wanting it as well, but that would have been a hellish type of ball to get through into that tiny passing lane at that speed, but brilliant by Dani Alves in supplying the Chilean with a great opportunity. Just not enough pop behind the side foot shot. Wide for Alba. Unayin and Susayeta have switched flanks. Unayin now on the right. Messi and Thiago back to Song. Piquet wide for Alves. Don't forget Real at Atletico coming up. Sesc for Messi around Akisa, but the shot blocked by Iraola. Oh, getting plenty of shooting practice. That's for sure. Just tuning his Stradivarius. Piquet wants to get forward. Oh. Tiago wanted to get it back but couldn't. Pedro. Alcantara. A little trip, not much, but enough from out of the nature. Into the middle, Gorka with the punch. And he gets a little bit of Alexis Sanchez. He's brave to go in here. Gorka coming out at him like a big wrecking ball. It's certainly a collision between the two men. Nice early ball from Sesk, and look at this. Neither man backing out an inch. And the elbow coming across Alexis. Alves limping as well further upfield. Right, let's talk about the elbow. I think Gorka ready for full extension and then saw Alexis so close. Almost kept it in for protection, but still pays the price. Alexis took the worst of it, though. They've already made the subs of Abidal and Hernandez. For Adriano and Messi, so just one substitute left. Whistle blows for the drop ball. Iglesias to Athletic. We give it back sportingly to Barcelona. That 100th goal proving to be a bit elusive. Nice from Adoritz. Gurpegi getting the start for the suspended Utraspe, but his pass goes awry. Messi poke free. The InSport.tv. Check out the schedules as we wind our way towards the close of all of these seasons, but also plenty more to come during the summer. And there's how you can get involved. Real Madrid's run. A bit easier down the stretch than Barcelona by degrees, but Barcelona still with that 13 point gap. It's pretty much got to be a clean sweep for Real. They'll start Eight. against Atletico next. Tiago. Messi. Oh. Oh. Messi! Genius from Lionel. Watch this. Has it 
temptation right there. Three players inside a telephone box, and he don't care. He emasculates them individually, collectively. He literally disperses his atoms inside of his body on one side of this defender and then collects them on the other. Magisterial, Lionel. Magnifico. Extraordinario. Barcelona bounce back. Messi leading the way with his brilliant Blaugrana flag. It is on fire and he sticks it into the hearts of Athletic Club and puts out the warning. Bayern Munich, it ain't over. I have a feeling a few beers spilled at the Hofbrau house. Bayern what? fans, something what to worry a about. Goal off of every chart that will be replayed. Listen to this crowd, they're gasping. They're trying to draw air in. The brilliance of Messi personified in this goal. Purely personification of a Bravaro player that defies description. Now playing defense to win it back. And Ray, if this is going to be the final meeting of Barcelona and Athletic, a fitting goal, but it might not be the last. Tiago. Alves. Inside Munayin, who's back over on this left flank. Tiago bumped as he delivered. PK there to save the day. Sesk to Pedro. Curling run, Adriano, but you know they want to get it to Messi. So did Akisa, the former red, clearing it away. PK heads. Alves nice chips. Oh. Heading. Settled. Onside! Fortuitously for the Chilean, but it doesn't matter. The planets have been realigned by Messi, and everything else adjusts around. Wonderful control, but Dani Alves is magnificent. Messi says, put this one away. He's probably picking him out with this headed pass. Don't discount it and don't doubt it. Beautiful ball, PK. Dani Alves is brilliant, picking out Lionel in his headed pass for the Chilean. Is pinpoint accurate, and that's a tonic. Wow, what a performance! He's done it again. He comes out of the deep freeze like Han Solo when he was putting that carbonate, and then Messi comes back, shakes it off, and then. Single-handedly, totally shifts the table in one direction by his pure personality and his pure footballing magnificence. There'll be people saying, I'm reading way too much into that header, Phil. I'm not so sure. I think he sees his target and he picks him out with a headed pass rather than a header at goal. Over the last couple of minutes, two giant steps to clinch the crown. Athletic making a switch. And it's Ramayo who is now checked in. The first black player, or if you wish, Romayo, dad from Africa, mom from the Basque region. Good friends with Iker Munayin on their way through the system and now stepping on to the pitch again. Trying to put the genie back in the bottle though. Well, the genie's out there wearing the number 10. Now, this game is far from over, and Barcelona still know they've got some serious defending to be done, but again, the substitute, the electric light switch, 
astonishingly thrown and it just feeds through the confidence of every player wearing the blue grana. But for the fans coming and watching this team play here for the last time as well, Phil, what a memorable performance of virtuoso standards by Lionel Messi. And again, there's still plenty of time on this clock for the Red and Whites to break the hearts of Barcelona and Messi themselves, but ahead of the big game on Wednesday, this has been a substitution, as I said at the time, built around the bravery of Barcelona's DNA. You don't think about what if, you think about what is certain to happen, and they knew by throwing Lionel in that something special would happen, and it did. Another substitution getting set for Athletic. Remember, it was Messi who broke Athletic's heart late last year. I'm sure they wouldn't mind returning the favor a bit, but regardless, a spark that Barcelona hope catches to flame. The San Jose who came out last. Now it's Madrid's on the final sub. Llorente is in. Arteneche, the other player, and it's Ivai Gomez. And Fernando Llorente. Was well, the... good performance by the man he replacing Aduriz, setting up the first goal. And a different type of footballer coming in. Similar in a lot of ways, but for me, a lot more competent and a lot more combative and a lot more skillful. This wonderful player, Fernando Llorente will be playing in the black and white shirts of Juventus next season in Serie A and he will absolutely augment the Zebras. Mayo, pretty good work there. Keeping a keys up. San Jose, the player who was pulled first. I thought it might be Iraola because on that goal, the game or the go-ahead goal, it was Iraola who kept Barcelona onside not once but twice, but still keeping his mobility out. Mayo Llorente and Ivai as Bielsa clears the bench. 15 minutes left. It's Munayin into the box. There was contact with Cesc, but incidental said the ref. And no argument from Iker. The last six away matches for Barcelona have not been pleasant. This after Barcelona had put themselves down as one of the best road teams in the world. They'd won 10 straight. 17 1 0 over their last 18, dating back to last February, but over the last Good six. Ball. Chance for oh. Messi, but offside. It was very, very close, this. He's holding his lane, waiting and waiting, twitching like a greyhound in the traps, and then he's off. The ball just not released by a nanosecond early enough from Thiago. Unlucky. Two losses, two draws, and two wins for Barcelona. Can they break the trend here with another victory? Soft for Ander. Gets it back from Susayeta. He wasn't quite as ready for the pass as Alba was. Slides into the signage, but no foul, says the ref. Tell you what, looking at Fernando Llorente, look at this. Just be quiet and listen and look and learn. Kids out there, you think you can do this? Go out and try. <laughs> look at the emotion from Tito. You've got to remember how often to see this every day in practice. It's to the man I born. Romayo back to Gorka, but Pedro almost intercepted. Kept in play, though. Oh. Messi with a second chance. Actually, Sesk lifting it forward. Offside against Adriano, against Alexis.
pushed aside across the far chalk. It's Barcelona ball on the more arguing with the pass than anything. Looks like Iniesta getting set to check in, and it will be, and it's going to be for Alexis Sanchez, who scored the game winner before he departs if this score holds. Yeah. This is still got a long way to go, Phil. Plenty of fizz left in this bottle, and Atletico, Athletic Club, excuse me, really shaking the bottle here since Llorente came in. Big test for PK now. And it looks like, if anything, Fernando Llorente is muscled up in this time that he's been out injured, but again, on the other side of it, I've got this pale faced assassin to come in and control. And again, as you see, Barcelona using the uh, hierarchy as Messi surrenders Xavi's armband straight to Iniesta. And starting to buzz a bit. A bit nervous off the Nervion at the moment for Athletic. Mentioned if they could have gotten the victory, still a possibility they could draw within seven of a European spot. Or if they lose, could be within a couple of games of relegation. Start of the day, 14 to 36 points. That's three ahead of Osasuna. They Portivo three further back, but then it gets tight. Granada, Mallorca, Celta, and Saragossa. Number five, just three points separate. Slammed up field, nodded back to the middle. Peggy, now a bump from Pedro. Play on. It's a beautiful stab away from Pedro. Looking for Messi's run. Good ball. Switches it over. Ah. Settling it. Alba, but too far afield. And what cleared a away. fabulous ball to find Jordi on the run. It's perfection with the pass, but not. His control off of his chest just pops a yard away from him. Sess getting it back. Good ball again. Pedro at the top. His control fails in the deflection back to Gorka. Llorente. Rumored pre-contract to Juve, so one of his final big match appearances here. It's Messi again. Perfect pass. Feeds Alves. Oh. Easy for Gorka. Ray only fitting with the bust of Tel Mosada looking on at Lionel Messi. The man chasing his La Liga scoring record would get on the score sheet. Can he do it again? It's across Dani Alves again here. Three. Seeing anything too cynical again. Alves's feet just too quick. <laughs> Wonderful ball there from Thiago Alcantara back into Lionel and he was an inch away from darting through two of the defenders of Bielsa again. How do you coach against that number 10, boss? This man still battering away here. Let's go, let's go, he screams on the sideline. Nain wants it back, but from the throw in. 26 straight matches away from home. Barcelona has scored. That tie is their own mark. Will it be enough? Play on. Iglesias right around the contact. Well, skims away. And Iesta kicks is off the flag and out for a corner. 
great ball over the top from Peter Munahin. It's the danger that Lucas Iniesta cannot rise above to punch his head at. The way there's a man that's been looking to punch a head at home. This will take some defending here. Rolls away, Valdez plays his line. Llorente couldn't get enough of it. Song clears to Messi. Back to Valdez. Lovely feet from Valdez to take the pace off of that ball. His clearance a little bit uncharacteristically wobbly. Good response from Athletic Club. You see again. Good ball from Fabregas. And he has to break every other stadium in Spain. He gets cheered for his heroics. At the San Mames, Iniesta whistled every time he touches the ball. Ball to the far side, Alba. Adriano, Thiago, Iniesta. Thiago lost his footing. Referee says play on. Well, this will put Athletic closer to the relegation zone. Still a lot of teams below them. Yeah. And as we've seen, signs of life. Oh. And for lack of a better way to phrase it, they won't have Europe to distract them next year. And they won't have that number 10 week in, week out, who, as we said, single-handedly shifted this game. And still. That ten minutes to be played. This crowd going to will them on. Launched long, using Messi to draw the defense. Pedro tried to cut it inside. Well defended, though. Well, up the line, but he plays it out. Keep it in. Beautifully that. well defensively. Can't direct his pass in. Don't forget Real Madrid at Atletico at the Calderon to come up immediately following. I think this atmosphere was a little bit special. The little that game starts. And if Atletico can celebrate their 110th birthday with a Real Madrid scalp, it would be Barcelona crowned as champions while in midair winging their way back to Barcelona. Yep. Atletico Madrid will certainly sense the same sort of situation that this athletic club did coming into the game. Just recognizing that it's a distracted team that we're going to be facing. And they are playing well themselves, so Atletico really going to throw down a big challenge for Los Blancos to be. Messi poke free. Did. Thiago again. A lot of red and white back, but Messi finds a gap. Oh, hooked on the second effort. Now he takes him down, and it should be a yellow card. It is a yellow card. Wonderful Already quick waited. steps again from Messi. We look at it again. Over such a short space, his feet burn in the grass. Again, with the quickness, look at this. And then absolutely just rifled down by Gil Peggy. Nasty. And it is a yellow card to the veteran. Joined Athletic the same year Messi joined Barcelona back in 2000. See if a 32 year old and one of the other players that was produced by this Club's youth system. Six in the wall. Iniesta, a little window. Messi from 25. Messi just wide. He had Gorka beaten, but couldn't curl it in. Good look at the wall, they're all spinning round like tops <laughs> to see it. 
where it's going. Everyone else on earth is probably frustrated when a goal like that goes in. Here you are as well, but you can see they wanted to witness the magic. By the way, one other point that maybe gives Atletico Madrid a bit more of a reason today at home. Remember in Spain, it's head-to-head -head total goals, the first tiebreaker, and if Atletico can get the victory against Real Madrid, they would tie Real for second on points. Yep. The first meeting between these two at the Bernabeu was 2-0 Real, so Atletico, not easy, but if they could get a 3-0 victory, forget the goal differential, it would be Atletico that would finish the day in second place. Well, that game has big populations as well for the Champions League, of course. This is a good yeah, break with well, a messy like oh, run. Nice cover from Song this time, though. And he keeps it out from a corner, but it will be a throw in deep. Side Munayin a little lackadaisical off the throw in. Well, Smart it's been thinking. Since 1999, Phil, that Atletico Madrid beat their despised cross town rivals, but they may never have a better chance to beat Los Blancos than they do today with Mourinho and all of the Madridistas still believing that they can turn it around against. Dortmund on Tuesday night, but how much will Jose Mourinho have to rest his big dogs? That's the point as well, Ray. Ronaldo, we know, will not be there. Yeah. And for Real, it's only three goals, and they do have a road goal. Llorente settles. 90th minute. Can they snatch? A Barcelona-like equalizer. And a better service than that. Well, this team, Goodbye. red and white, just do not know the meaning of quit. It's a good ball. Llorente, but denied by Adriano. Oh! They sneak it in at the back post. The goal from Ander Herrera. A 90th minute equalizer to turn the tables on Barca. And Herrera capitalizes on the supply from Fernando Llorente, who rises beautifully, and as I was saying, these Basque boys just do not know the word quit. They will battle you down to the last breath in their body for these fans that reflect the same attitude. Unayin is involved with this, Herrera pummels this one home. It's nicely won upstairs, and again, the deficiencies of the central defense of Barcelona are called into account without Puyol, a big, big piece of the jigsaw missing. Again, Llorente just helps it on, and Herrera slingshots this. De Marcos it is. Llorente challenges. I think this may actually come off a Barcelona defender, and it does. Looks like it's Adriano. That gets the touch on, and then Victor Valdez sprawling to try to get it, and he's just two inches away from it. An injury time strike back in November of 11 by Lionel Messi. Stole three away from Athletic. They've returned the favor, and maybe with interest. If this score holds, there will not be a champion crowned today. Barcelona could do it at home against Betis. But it means there's still questions in the air as they head into that big match against Bayern. Back for Alves. Halfway through, time added. Iniesta. Is there a winner here for Athletic? Susayeta. Good work. 
And Anna was tripped. Play on. Down on Plantara steps in and wins it cleanly. In the referee's opinion, more trip given. Remember. Already okay, some bad on. blood between these two, so Barcelona. Reason to try and find it's got to be a good a chance. Marcos in the ball. Reaching in and just yanking down Fabregas. Says just about to pick his pass as well. The Marcos recognizing it. Galo Cantara calling all the big boys up now. No seconds left on the clock here. A psychic connection between the two. Alves for Piquet. Back to the middle, but cleared away. And it looks like that will do it. The final whistle from Iglesias. A 90th minute goal from Herrera forces Barcelona to wait. Again, two big things on display. First one, the indefatigable spirit of Urente's club. The never say die attitude of Athletic Club in the majesty of Messi. On display, full advertisement again. In the end, disappointment for Barcelona, but Athletic Club fighting their hearts out in getting something out of the fire to deny the magisterial Messi. The championship to be won another day. It was the fans in the San Mamés, the big winners. Athletic two, Barcelona two.